Hey there guys, I'm JX23 and I'm going to do for you guys a little walkthrough slash guide review of the online free roam mode in Red Dead Redemption. Um, basically I'm doing this because I've completely fallen in love with online free roam on Red Dead Redemption. I played half hour of the single player, yeah, it's fun, I got online on free roam and that was it, I was just completely hooked. So, um, what is online free roam on Red Dead Redemption? Basically, you get the whole map. Uh, to explore by yourself or with friends in private or public match, um, private or public lobby. I think it's up to eight or ten of you, or twelve even, can be in a in a lobby at once. Um, basically, it's a free world to do what you want with. The map is pretty damn huge. Um, what I really love about this map, I mean the size of it, if you sprint on your horse from one corner to the other, it takes about 15 minutes. Um, that makes it sound like it's not very big, but that's just cutting right through it and not exploring the whole thing. I think if you were gonna, if you were to go around the whole perimeter of the map and then all around the middle, I mean it'd take you, it'd take you at least an hour. And what I love about this game is, is the map. I think the landscape makes this game. It is just gorgeous. It is gorgeous looking. And what they've really cleverly done is they've managed to cover almost every type of Western American landscape in one game. So in the northeast you've got the tall trees area which is snowy mountains and then you've got the uh, go slightly south of that and you've got the um, area where it's more uh, like uh, big trees, the sort of place where deers and elks would live. Uh, you've also got your standard sort of hot American town, um, Americana style looking things. And then in the south you've got uh, like Grand Canyon type landscape. You've got desert type landscape. Um, a few different takes on a desert style landscape. One with um, more shrubbery and then one that's just completely barren. Uh, you've got uh, areas which are quite more like just mountainous and like green and lush. and just as you go through the whole the whole map, you just feel like it's you're entering different like worlds almost as you go through. Um, I've been playing it for three days solid now, and I've not even. Um, I still keep coming up to places, and they just look completely different each time. I think it's because you you approach them from a different angle. Uh, what is there to do in online multiplayer? Um, well, actually, I'll go through uh, what you've got on you. Uh, you get to choose character. Uh, you can rank up in online um, free roam. So I think it's 50 ranks, and each time you rank up, you get like a new uh, horse, or you'll get a new outfit, a new title, and you get uh, you get one or two guns to start with. You get a selection of guns, and then by going and completing missions in the free roam, you unlock more guns, and uh, and they'll be available to you the next time you load up. Uh, in the online free roam, the, there's loads of missions. All you have to do, if you want to find out uh, what to do next to gain some XP, if you, you just press the start button, you go to your journal and click on free roam and there's all these challenges like outlaw challenges which is uh, survival, um, survival from the law because the law there is law in this game it's all sort of all the little towns are populated with you know your average type people it's quite a sparse world it's not full of people um, but there are some towns with police in um, I don't know what you call them were they police back in the day I don't call them lawmen I suppose um, and you can rank up your bounty by shooting police basically and staying safe and there's challenges for getting a bounty of like it's the equivalent of GTA 4 we had a five star wanted level uh, there's challenges for hunting which I think are the most fun you just basically you start off with little challenges like uh, kill five rabbits and then it's kill five skunks kill five uh, just the small animals and then it starts to say uh, kill five bears uh, one has to be with the knife and then once you've done that with all the animals uh, you get a challenge which says things like go hunt the legendary wolf in the Escarada or whatever it's called Bar Barracada or something like that and you'll go to Barracada and just be like an onslaught of wolves will just try and take you out. You can do these challenges with your friends um, and then after a while the legendary wolf will appear and you've got to take him down for the, uh, for like the extra XP and to be honest the social aspect of online free loam is what is so hilarious because it's the world is just so organic um, it just feels really free. Like in GTA 4, I had free roam, but 
I don't know what it is about this game. It's just so much more appealing. I think it really feels like free roam because in GTA you've got roads which, you know, get in the way and lots of buildings and things. Uh, but here you can just go across the whole landscape pretty much. Grab your horse. You don't have to stay on the road. You can sort of go through the shrubberies, take shortcuts. It really is good. Um, other online things we've got is like uh, Lawbringer shoot hats off of people, become a public enemy. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of things to unlock and once you've unlocked all of them obviously uh, you'll just keep ranking up. It keeps coming up with new challenges. There's um, also stat ones you can do which is the silly things but they're fun to do. Uh, like stagecoach trampler. Run over 25 different people with a stagecoach and um, fall 50 times to your death. Uh, things like that which I think is great because GTA didn't have that. It was just um, free roam, there you go. But uh, this game, it's got free roam, and you can. To be honest with you, I'm just almost in love with. You can make your own game. You can say, oh, you know, let's go uh, shooting deers uh, in the tall trees, and let's go, uh, let's go run into the lake and call our horses and watch them like fall to their death in the lake. It's just so many fun things happen in this game. Like you shoot someone off their horse, and they'll get dragged along the ground on their horse, and. I don't know, you just, you just always finding things. It's so much better if you've got a group of friends to play it with who are, who are like up for just messing around. Like they're not, you know, it's not a competitive game. Um, that's what I'm enjoying the most because, I mean, I play a lot of Call of Duty as you guys know and that game stresses me out. It, I mean, I'm, I'm like an adult gamer. I don't, you know, tend to get stressed out over a computer game. I'm like, well, it's, a bit, you know, it's just a game. But Call of Duty will stress out the most laid back of guys. It is just the perks, the, the, you know, the competitive edge. There's never a moment to relax. And so this is really, for me, the online free roam, what the gaming should be about. I would pay just to have an online free roam with more depth. Um, I hope they do DLCs to expand the free roam because I played some of the online multiplayer competitive. And yeah, it can be fun. It's like a... It's... It is basically that, a bit of fun. It's not, you can't really take it too serious. There's auto aim until you get to level 19. Um, so for me, the online free roam is where the fun's at. You go and you go and raid gang hideouts, and there's like all these all these uh, gangsters in the gang hideouts where you've got to take them out, and then you've got to push the carts up the gold mine. And it's really varied. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with it. As you run around the map, the map changes from day to night and you know, you've got sunset, you've got evening, you've got different types of weather so it always looks different depending on the weather and the time of day. You've got rain, you've got thunderstorms, you've got a bit of drizzle, you've got bright blue sunny skies, you've got overcast skies. Uh, so that again adds to the, you know, it makes it fresh every time you go through a certain area. Like last time you might have gone through an area, it might have been night time and then you'll run through in the day and it just looks completely different. So in my opinion, it is best with friends. The, it's got auto aim on the um, online. I think the only way to not have auto aim is if you go rank up to level 19 and then you unlock hardcore mode. But that's for competitive gaming. On the free roam, there's always auto aim. But to be honest, it makes it so much fun going into a gang hideout and just just taking people out so quick. It's like the auto aim on Call of Duty single player, where you if you're near them, you just zoom in, then it will lock onto them. But it is epic fun, like I said. I think if you get a good posse, you know, the world's your oyster. You can just have fun for hours and hours. I've managed to just completely waste for like, for like five, six hours in a row. Like, no problems. Um, one thing I've found as well is that online, for the most part, everyone's really friendly. Which is, makes a nice change to online gaming. Um, people want to help you out. They ask you to posse up. You can posse up with your friends and you've got a little gang uh, who sticks together. And then you can go take on hideouts together. Complete challenges. And just basically have a laugh. Everyone I've played with so far has been really friendly. Um, there's a couple of people who just, you know, as soon as they get into a free roam, they'll start shooting you up and, you know, just because they think they're funny. Uh, but if they do that, you can either vote to kick them or go create your own private one or go try another public one. Um, for me, if, I mean, if you want to play, you know, go around shooting everyone, you can just go play free-for-all. In each town, there's a, a transport link, which can take you to your waypoint that you put on the map, like GTA 4, or it can take you to a town or an area. So that's really useful for getting around if you can't be asked to ride your horse. But for me, I absolutely love riding my horse. Unless it's completely opposite side of the map, I will ride my horse anywhere. It is just, it is just ultimate fun. So, yeah, for me... 
this game is all about online freedom. I think it's the most fun I've had online um, in a long time. It's completely different to a Call of Duty online. It's just, for me, it's what gaming should be. It's fun, it's chilled out, you can, you know, you can make your own games out of it. There's loads of challenges, loads of things to do, so yeah, for me, online free roam is where it's at. I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10, only because I'd give it 10 if it was slightly bigger and there was more gang hideouts, but you know, it is really huge to be fair, but I'm going to play it to death, so I'm always going to hope there's going to be more content. So yeah, if you're going to pick up Red Dead Redemption for me, I'd, I'd be sure to check out online free roam. It's awesome. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. There you'll find the latest updates from our premier directors and the Machinima Respawn team.